National Security Minister Dr. Harish Chang is asserting that a zero-tolerance approach will be taken to breaches of the Noise Abatement Act. This will include the seizure of equipment and imposing additional restrictions. The law has that change in, in relation to nuisance and annoyance. So if you disturb the residents within, the, within a particular area, you will be turned off. Because what some of the more senior promoters have indicated, and they can acquire equipment and get sound engineers to allow their sound to remain in the area that they are operating and don't disturb the peace of sight. There are people who go out and put the speakers pointing into people's apartments and houses. We lock them up. That's what we have been doing. And we'll, in fact, increase, so I say, make that a more severe activity because there will be more activities. I cannot have the police chasing no individuals. They're going to lock them, no, one, no warning. They'll be locked off. And there'll be no second chance. If they turn it on after they have locked it off, they're going to seize the equipment. The House of Representatives on Tuesday approved amendments to the Noise Abatement Act allowing persons two more hours to have public events such as parties, meetings, or church events. Events are being allowed to go until 2 o'clock in the morning on weekdays and 4 o'clock on weekends. And Dr. Chang also shared information on a broader plan aimed at dealing with noise abatement. It will involve the use of other legislation. I'm saying can be amended the long term as it is because they are, if you're going to do it, permanently, there are a number of other aspects of consequential amendments you have to do to make sure it works smoothly. Right now, it's, it's a short term, depends on the police vigilance and promoters cooperating. But if you're going to do that for the long term, you have to look at the total picture and ensure that other laws, for example, local government are amended to accommodate what you're doing because they have some responsibility in, in dealing with venues. Kimberly Broderick, Frontline News.